I like all the flowers and holographic butterflies. Like, I just no, dude, it, it's love cool. this place like, so much. Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome back to Star Citizen. Okay. Yep, so we'll call the elevator down. Yep, and then we'll use the elevator, we'll go up. ATC is going to be mad at me. <laughs> They're like, would you get off of the landing pad? Oh, 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 here we go. It's the ladder. Okay. Gotta go up a floor. I gotcha. That's a cool ship. Um, yeah, it's... it's some, oh, Okay, okay, so here's like a galley area. Like a little crew quarters. Components. What is this? Oh, here's the bathroom and the bunk beds. Okay, okay. All right. Oof. Um, I don't necessarily want to go down there. Can we go? Hey, Babbitt, oh. It was like the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Airport. <laughs> what? Because you gotta take trams everywhere. Oh, nice. All right, let's let's get in the pilot seat, maybe. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, let's go flight ready. Systems on. You are clear to launch. Perfect. Launch Very good. All right. Landing gear up. Nice. Okay. Let's get the star charts pulled up here. Thank you. And please visit so you're, you're, you are coming over to New Babbage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I don't think that thing's big enough for me to land my ship on, is it? Uh, there's really nowhere to land on it. Look at all that fuel you got too, jeez. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll we'll start out with that. Oh. Oh shoot! I'm being told I have to stop. What? Um, remain stationary. I'm being scanned by security. He said he has authorization to fully scan my vehicle. I'm to stop moving. Never seen that happen before. Okay, he said I'm. He said I don't have any like contraband or anything. I'm clear to proceed. Man, uh, that's a first. That's a first. I don't ever remember that happening before. Um, you know, probably. So what I'm getting is he was really hard to hear, but the music's a little loud. Maybe sound effects, but then turn the speech up. I guess. Okay. Yeah, that was... I just started spooling up my engine and he was like, halt your velocity immediately. I'm authorized to scan your vehicle. I was like, yikes. Alright. We're spooled up. Ready to go. So this is one of the ones that we can do, we can mine from space, or we can mine from yes. the ship. Yes. So we don't even have to take the little vehicle out. No. Does that store the little vehicle? No. Oh, it doesn't? So you have to do it from the ship? Yeah, so, so most of this ship... It's like, it's a large size, and it has some, like, different compartments, but most of this ship is, uh, like, storage for minerals. Oh, I gotcha. So part of, yeah, so part of what makes this ship so great, aside from the fact that there's multiple different, um, 
mining heads that can be controlled individual individually with individual scanners and such. But the difference is like the mineral storage. It's like four times as much as the prospector holds, four or five times. It's a lot. Dang. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting some some frame rate frame rate drop. Yeah, it's that's probably because you're coming here. Yeah, see, I can't do repair. I can't restock. I can't get fuel. Oh, is that a docking hatch on my on my ceiling? Oh, hold on a second. So one of the things they added in the last update is the ability to dock with with certain uh, stations. Oh, really? Yeah, so one of the things you can do now when you mine is you can take your ore and get it refined. No, it doesn't look like this has a... Maybe this is where it docks. Let's see. Uh, but so you go to these places to like get your ore refined, and you can like straight up dock with them. What is this? Oh, this is the turret? Okay. Yeah, this is a big industrial ship. There's not, it's like really, it's like it looks huge from the outside, but inside it's cramped as heck. Not a lot of like room to do stuff. Yeah, probably because it's a mining ship. Yeah, the, the crew area is about like the biggest, most spacious area. like some sort of shower or something I guess I don't know are these like cryopods what the heck are these I don't think it's like a shower because like the shower is like over here well, remember that time I got locked in the bathroom yeah that's why I'm not going in the bathroom I don't know I don't want that to be my fate what are these I wonder if these are like escape pods and they're just not active Oh, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Can I sit on my on my bench here? Yeah, okay, good. It's like food and coffee and stuff. I don't remember how much a healing uh, a he a healing. I don't remember how much a helix mining uh, head is is in cost, um, but we're gonna need at least two of them. Oh, shit! I took off. No, you're fine. I just got to go there and and buy the the mining head, and then I'll and then we can go to. Uh, well, then we can go wherever. Oh. My ship is refueled. Oh, my ship is refueled because it, I blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be why you can't refuel. Oh, so I didn't even need to take off. Damn it. Interesting. Port to press lever. So there's three there's three separate mining lasers on this ship. All right, halfway there. What is this? What kind of well, seat and is it's this? probably, I guess, if you got to come here anyway, it's probably a good thing that I didn't. Uh, leave. Yeah, yeah, we can we can totally meet up there, because um, I I have to come by the the helix gas vent may suddenly something. I have to come by the helix uh, mining heads, or we're gonna be stuck mining like the bottom tier of ore. 
it means like we'll get we'll find like the really good stuff and we won't have a powerful enough head to crack it open which is oh, okay. which is unsat yeah But well, once you get over here, I'll be at the little space station that's uh, orbit orbits right around New Babbage. Okay, sounds good. I guess I'm just gonna look around the ship some more and see what's going on here. Too bad I can't just like get into your ship from where I'm at. I mean, I guess I could. Yeah, I see you coming. Oh yeah, you can see me on your screen too. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, so, oh, I'm just hanging out here. I'm just, I'm just, like, totally hanging out here. So, yeah, so it looks like one mining turret on the front and two on, and one on each side, three total. So I'm wondering if you can't, if you can't control them from the pilot's seat, that's a little crazy then, because then you've got to constantly, like, run around and change seats. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, which I mean is fine, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's fine for the ones on the sides, I guess. But if you can't control at least the one on the front from the pilot seat, that's that seems a little. I mean, I don't know. I'll reserve judgment. Let's wait and see. Yeah, wait and see what so happens. So there's no ladder on that side. And then this is the jump drive in the back. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cramped. There's not a lot of room on this thing. So it's just big because it's a mining ship. Yeah, it's just big because it's got tons of mineral storage. So most of this stuff is like tanks and like mining, Man, mining equipment. Do ships not have lights on them? Um, I think so. How do you turn the lights on? Uh, L. Oh, L, for, oh. L for oh, love. <laughs> Where's the landing pad? I just saw it there. We go. Oh, landing gear would probably be a good idea. All right. All right, entering Microtech. Oh, you're marked on my map. Yeah. Straight up fixed it. Look at that. Well, I mean, you said you you said that I came through on yours for a while, but I I still hadn't, uh, like, it hadn't been fixed for me. Orbital marker. Which one is New Babbage? You guys are going to make me do this the, uh, the old fashioned the hard way. Yeah, I get it. We're, our jump drive is cooling down. That's, that's okay. I'm just trying to figure out which one it is. Yeah, they're going to make me go to the dang star map. Okay. No problem. I accept these terms. That's okay. No Babbage it is. That's uh, the only yeah. city on Microtech, right? Um, the only city, yeah. There's a lot of other places you can go, though. Yeah, see, I'm right there on your screen. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I keep your stream up just so I can see where you're at. <laughs> nice. Yeah, a lot of that stuff is like engines and tanks and those two things on the sides are mining turrets. Oh, I don't remember ever coming here. What, to New Babbage? 
No, to this little uh, space station. Oh, I think they have a cool suit of armor. Check the armor place. Like, make sure That's you do it. Ooh, they got a hot dog stand. I think I think that place either has the uh, has like the good light armor or the good medium armor, but it has like one of the good non-environmental armors, like one of the good combat armors. Pretty sure. All right, let's call the spaceport. Please proceed to assigned land. Signed landing bay. You got it. So cool looking out the windows to see these, like the massive space stations and the planets and stuff. Yeah, it'd be funny if they had like one planet that was flat. No, no, it wouldn't. No, and it was called like New Earth or something. No, oh my gosh, <laughs> no, denied. All right, let's. Let's see if we have vertical and takeoff uh, engines. No, we do not. Okay. All right, coming into land. This is also an easy hab. Bing, ba bing, ba bing. I don't think they like me going that fast. That's okay. Microtech is cold, man. I wandered outside one time just trying to see what the outside was like, and I was like, oof, I don't have the right suit for this environment. Yeah, isn't it? Uh... I started icing up. I almost didn't make it. I wandered off too far. I wonder how that thing oh is. Oh my gosh. Land. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you falling? Yeah. A little bit. Come on. I'm in like a constant, like, I'm just free falling. Yeah, I see that. What? I don't know. Flight system overheating. All right, all right, all right. Let's. So, I pretty much, I pretty much bounced it off the ground a little bit. Put your gear down, son. Oh, That's, it down. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. No, 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 no! Yeah, stop! What? I can't roll. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting some really weird like. Yeah, this is... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we try to take off out of this, like, forest here? Okay, okay, easy does it. Oh my gosh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, it surely wasn't me. Dude, there's a mineable rock right outside the spaceport here. Why'd you break it, dude? Dude, I can't even... My thrust is maxed out, and I have, like, no speed. I'm just falling. Okay, it we need would. to get... I wonder if it's something with your... Oh, I bet it's because this ship just doesn't have, like, good vertical thrusters for how heavy it is. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do everything, like, old school. That was, well, that was part of the big, like, aerodynamics update was they made it so that certain ships just can't hover. Like, oh, they, they just don't have hovering engines. Like, you have, to, you have to maintain, like, a forward sort of direction. That's going to make flying this thing, like, ridiculous. Especially in a uh, planetoid environment. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's get a little bit of speed. Yeah, because as soon as I take my hands off, like, I start falling. Like, as soon as I stop my thrust, I start falling. All right, which landing pad is mine, sir? He's yelling at me for trespassing on government property. I would like to land, please. Dude, without vertical thrust, this thing is going to be impossible to land in here. Like, 
Yeah, you're gonna have to fall with style. I'm not trespassing. Oof. 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 Got the no. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got it. What in the world is going on? I must have, like, damaged my vertical thrust engines or something. This... No, nope, just get them fixed. It says nothing's available for repair. What is going on here? You know what? I don't even... It's going to take some getting used to it. Just, just power off. Just, just power the heck off. What? There's no way. But here's the thing. If that is the case... That can't be the case. If that is the case, and I really have zero vertical thrust, then how am I going to take off? Because like I'm in a pit. <laughs> like it if might I... be one of the ones where the doors are good. once they reposition your ship, it'll. Um... Yeah, I mean, shoot, it might have to, to be honest, because that was ridiculous. As soon as I stopped flying forward, I was like, like a rock, like I was going down, just sinking. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, oh, that's like a, like a stone. I can't believe I landed in this thing. <laughs> it's like you said, I basically had to fall gracefully. So were you talking about the uh, the Citadel armor? Yeah. Yeah, I think with that's the, the heavy armor. With the big shoulders? Yeah, that, so that's the best heavy armor in the game. Oh, is it really? Mm-hmm. It is. Max Flex. I landed way off center. They were like, good job, not. <laughs> Frick. It's funny, at this point, I don't really care how good the armor is. I just want it to look cool. Right. Well, I bought it just to have it. But. Oh, that one does look really cool. Which one is this? Oof, I'm gonna like exhaust myself. I'm running hard in a full sprint. True Def Pro Core. That one looks really neat. Alright. Oh, and I did buy the, uh, the super cold armor too, or the super hot armor. I yeah, say. the Pembroke. Yeah. Those are the two most important ones to have because then you can go anywhere. If you have the Novakov and the Pembroke, you can go anywhere. Oof! Oh! I just like fell over. I'm like crawling around on the ground. Dude. <laughs> oh, it was a rough night last night. Oh my gosh. They're like They're like, what is this dude doing? They're like, dude, you're in microtech. You're in, you're in new babbage. You can't act like that. <laughs> yeah, this is what do you think this is? Grim Hex? Yeah, they're like, no, dude. They're like, go back to Hurston with that noise. Go back to Lorville. <laughs> Or Grim Hex. Yeah, I want my ship stored. Store it already. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. I want to store my ship. What are you doing? Oh, here they are. Okay. Interstellar spaceport. Commercial flights. That's not where I'm going. Surface entrance. That's not where I'm going. Metro loop. That's where I'm going. No, you want to go to the commons, I think, the is what it's called. Uh, 
Uh, the Metro Loop, uh, Customs. They don't really say which is which, do they? Or at least not here. Yeah, we'll just go to the Metro Loop. I guess, oh, that's right, it's both. It's both on the same, the same place. Well, we're about to make some some decent money. I'm gonna buy some of this armor I like. Yeah. These were true death. The commons. Oh, it's right here. Hold that door. Got it. Nope. Cave into your craven at Whammers. Always a good time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but as much as I like the other places, I love New Babbage. I think too, it's just, it's laggy. That's the only problem. It reminds me of, like, the Citadel. That view. Oh yeah. Take me to New Babbage. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Uh, you gonna open the door? Yeah, they. Yeah, it just takes a second. Careful. Does it? Doors are now closing. No, it says doors are closing. Oh, it didn't open. I'm trapped. It didn't let me off. Oh, oh. that happened to me once. Yeah, so now I'm, right. I'm, I'm I'm taking a lap. Dang it. So yeah, it, it does it every once in a while. It's kind of annoying. So does it take me back to the space station, or does it take me to Alpine Grand now? Uh, I think it goes in a loop. I Dang. think. I don't know 100% for sure. But... Well, we get to see the sights. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a cool station. I mean, you get to see everything. Oh, man. Yeah, it is. It's taking me to, like, the Capitol building. I've never been to this part of New Babbage, honestly. Ugh, the doors are still... No! Let me out! I'm, Dude, I'm trapped like a rat. This thing is not going to let me out. No. <laughs> yeah, there's no... You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Well, maybe roaches check in, but they don't check out. Right? I gotta plot my escape. There's gotta be a way to escape off this thing. Alright, I... I am in. Alright, so when you leave here... I'm also in. When you leave, when you leave that room, uh, the elevator's in the middle of the... Oh, you've been there, never mind. Like the window. So last time, uh, when I first came to New Babbage, um, when I was playing by myself, uh, I died. Uh, and when I restarted in the in the living area, the apartments, I opened my door, and it was just space. I Oof. fell into space. Like there was nothing there. Oof. And I was like, wait a second, is this, am I, does it open to the outside and you just, you know, you, you know, EVA is this, somewhere? Is this heaven? But, is this hell? so I, I was like, well, let me see. And I walked out and it was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, I guess, I guess not. Oh my gosh. Have you seen Avenue 5? Yes. I love Dude, it. Dude, 
that's that's what you reminded me of. That's CGI. <laughs> that's not that's not really an airlock. What do you do with a, a bachelor's in English? Uh oh, got chair standers. Yeah, there's a there's they're still around. Metro loop. I don't want to go to the metro loop. Am I not at the commons? No. No, you're just in the uh Careful. doors are now closed. The apartments. You gotta take multiple trains or a train to get. Yay! Can you get it? Well I'm free. I'm a free person, so. I'm no longer riding the tram forever. I like all the flowers and holographic butterflies. Like I just no, dude, it, it's love cool. this place like, so much. I like the amount of detail they put in. And I mean, I get, like, bugs are something they work out in beta. So. Yeah. I get, they're they're fixing the game crashing bugs, which I appreciate. But you know, I think people need to realize that that stuff gets worked out in, you know, beta. Right, right, right. So let's see, Savage Plaza. Oh, man, I don't have. Room. And I need to go down to the. I think it's the factory line. It's not center mass. I think it's. I'm no, trying there's... to remember who makes it. No, it's Shubin. Is it Shubin Interstellar? Center mass is the weapons. Yeah, center mass is weapons. Because that's where I went to get my sniper rifle that I wanted. Uh, yeah, Shubin Interstellar. I think this is it. Yeah, it should be. Because it's like a ship's weapon store, too. Yeah. Laser heads. So, want the Helix 2? 100 grand per? That's an investment. Probably get away with buying two, <clears throat> but I'm gonna end up buying three anyways. Let's see what size I need. Um, want want. Okay, oh, so, so it, pulled up, right. it pulled up that one, but it's not pulling up. Oh, here it goes. Oh, okay, so I still do have the one. So these can go up to a size two. I have a size one helix, <laughs> but... Yeah, we need to buy size twos. Okay. Alright, let's go. Yeah, Helix, Mining Laser, size two. Buy three of them. Give me one second. I gotta blow my nose. Yep. <laughs> That's 300,000 United Earth credits. With all these sub slots. Oh, 
Let's just uh, let's just take a look. Let's just see. Stays my brains out. Be right, careful. Ooh. <clears throat> Oh man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get we're going to get some of these. Extraction rate is lower, but you get less inert materials. Resistance but more instability. Optimal charge window is increased, but the resistance is increased. Oh, uh huh. Oh, those are the mining heads. Laser power, but more instability. Less instability, but a smaller optimal charge window. So they have kind of like trades. So the one that I like the most is this one. You extract slower, but you get a lot less inert materials, which really is what crushes your ability to make money because you pick up all this junk that doesn't sell for anything. So I actually think we're going to buy three of those. Yeah. Oh, you got quite a bit of money. Uh, I had. I had 600 grand. Oh, you just bought a bunch of other ones? Yeah, I'm buying a bunch of these. So this one is less resistance but more instability. I don't care about that one as much. These active, oh. these active modules um, are single use. This one is optimal charge window increased, but resistance increased. Oh, all right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly back to uh, to New Babbage. We are. We're at a party, right? Yeah, we should be. I got a Drake Dragonfly. Maybe they gift. Maybe they glitch gifted you. They glifted you something. But that's a racing one, so I don't. Uh, oh no, that one. That one they gave to everybody, I think. Laser power, but instability. Does the company, does, do, do they make Star Citizen t-shirts and hats and stuff? I believe so. I need to get a t-shirt. <clears throat> so if we get, if we get three of these, then we offset the extraction rate that we lose with the other mod. So then all we did was give up a little bit of laser power. So now we just got to find a way to get that back, which we can get here. And that adds a little bit of instability to the rock. I don't know if I want to add instability to the rock, though. That's like a stat I don't want to boost. You know? Right. No, yeah, I gotcha. Of all the stats, I don't mind boosting. Yeah, maybe we just take the maybe we just take the lesser the lesser power for now. So the laser will have a few percent less power. That's okay. The fact that we're gonna get thirty percent less or twenty percent less inert materials is killer. That's gonna pay for itself. Uh, Alright, I'm coming to you, buddy. Yep. Well, in a second. I'm still taking off. Fort Tressler. Okay. Save changes and equip. Okay. Now we're ready to go make some money, even though I spent all my money to do it. That's okay. Yeah. Well, it'll be easier for me to come to you. Whoa, look at you... this guy. What? Oh man, he jamming out. He's trying to impress. Okay, so, he's trying to impress this person. So we got the table dancers now. That's skills. Uh, that's just right. All right, where are 
This guy. Jamming out. Everybody's coming to watch. <laughs> Involuntary spasms. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Just He's trying to get his lunches in, man. He's got a guy's, you know, working on his health. I get it. New Babbage. Careful. Doors are now closing. Doors are now closing. Oh my goodness, please let me be free. Now I just gotta find the landing pads. Cave into your craven. Whammers. This doesn't seem like this fits, New Babbage. <laughs> Twins sandwiches? That does. Elroy's? Yeah, like that, that does. That ad, is just, that ad is just out of place. Garcia's greens? And then it's like, whammers. It's like, oh, Hurston got their franchise here. Bay. I remember this one being kind of. There they are. Nearing next stop. Yeah, even my ship handles funky here. Maybe they just like. Overpowered the uh, the gravity on on uh, uh, Microtech. Maybe maybe I won't be able to take off from here, and I'll need to call a smaller ship and go to the space station, and then get the ship I really want. Well, man, if only you knew somebody with a smaller ship. Oh, wait, you got like 12 ships. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah, I'm going to get the... Right here. Uh, hello? 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 There it is. All right. Go more. Now we're talking. The two mining heads are on either side down there on that deck. <clears throat> then the third one's up here. Is that the st what the second seat is? No, the second seat's a co-pilot. So it's technically a five-man crew. Pilot, co-pilot, and three miners. So where's the, uh, where'd you say the other mining head is? Up here? Up here, up front, yeah. Who controls that? You have to get in it. I don't think you control any of them from the seats. Oh, all right. Can you even get in them from inside the ship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, actually, I want to see this uh, this takeoff. It's all getting. The... Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Yeah, because this one you don't have to take off. Okay, so it looks like <clears throat> it looks like I am able to. Okay, looks like I am able to vertically lift a little bit. Oof! Watch out! It's not. All right. We're just gonna go up. Does this All thing right. even have weapons? Uh, I don't think so, no. <clears throat> uh, let me look. I don't think it does.
weaponry. Um, oh. oh no, it's got it's got two guns. We're falling. It's got two repeaters. What? We're falling. We're falling. What? All right, let's go straight up. Oof! I'm not getting uh. I'm not getting much speed. Oh, my trajectory is dropping. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna go more power to weapons. Light system's overheating. It's okay, I just diverted more power to them. We're slowing down. Um, we're climbing really, really slow. This thing is just a beast, it's just too heavy. It looks like it has thrusters. It, it does. It's probably just too heavy. No, it does. It does have vertical thrusters. Oh, they were in... Okay, so it does have vertical thrusters. And they were in vertical takeoff mode. Okay, I had to cycle them. So this thing is just a pig. It's just heavy, man. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay. Alright, we're starting to pick up speed. Dang. So yeah, so pretty much we have to take off like a rocket to like escape the, escape the planet. We pretty much just got to go like straight up with all the engines pointed back. It's just a heavy. You want me to turn off, you to turn off the thermal core? <laughs> no. You sure? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with yeah. This is good. We're we're taking off. This is good. This is good. Yeah. So you can see there's a drill just underneath the flight deck or a mining bit. And then, yeah. there's, and then there's one on the left, and there's one on the right. Flight systems overheating, eh? Um, I'd like to go to... Um, I can go to this one. Oh, Panda's got five missiles. Oh, it does? That's... That's legit. Alright, we're going to pull the engines back a little bit since they're overheating. And I think I just cooked them. Oh, maybe it does come with this. Okay. Want some travel? Indeed. Nope, it was fighting with me. Did it drop my routing? Ugh, can we go to an orbital marker? Alright, let's just, let's get, we're still, I guess we're still registering as like in the atmosphere or something. Okay, all the gear is up. Make sure we don't have like a drag coefficient. Ugh. This thing is not nimble, man. Oh my goodness. It's well, just, it's, it's just straight industry. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can set our course again. All right. There we go. All right. Oh, okay. I think I hurt the engines <laughs> by overheating them so much.
lightning mode. This thing is fighting with me. Dude, just just taking off from Microtech used 75% of our hydrogen fuel. Are you serious? Woof. Yes, I am serious. Like ridiculous. I I'm telling you, I don't think it was I don't think this ship was made to take off from Microtech. Well, it looks like the front section is damaged and one of the engines is damaged. True, and it wasn't giving me the option to repair while we were there, so... Are you going off of the status page? The self-status? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely some damage going on, but it wasn't giving me the option to, like, repair or refuel. At Microtech, it was it was glitched like it was for you. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't do it. Anything so I think you. we'll just go and I hate to do it. I really hate to do it. Well, I think Let's we'll stop by Port Olisar. Just as a pit stop. I really don't want to do that though. I feel like as soon as somebody sees an Argo Mole at Port Olisar, they're gonna be like, "Where are you going?" I'll just go to somewhere smaller. Yeah. I suppose that's I'm in the, fair. I'm in the right hand mining turret. Power off. I'm looking around now to see if there's open exterior. Looking to see if there's anything that's like control the mining head from the seat. I don't think there is though. Yeah, it looks like you do have to get in it. Because the whole HUD is different. Yeah. But that's okay. These have a lot of range. We should be able to, like, land at a cluster and, like, just park it. Just, like, full land. And then just go nuts. Yeah, everything's damaged from where I bounced this thing off the floor. <laughs> off the... The terra firma. Their distance. I can't see. Uh, it's like 46 mil. Yeah, this is a straight up just industrial ship. Yeah, it is, man. It's gnarly. What if I want to get in here and take a shower, man? I've had a long day. Come on. Well, not, remember what happened last time. Not the toilet, oh, no. You're going to do it. Oh, no. So the only thing that's going to let me turn on is the toilet? Come on. And now you're stuck in there. This isn't a shower. It's a trap. No, this has got to be a shower. Look, here's the... Hot and cold water. Ah, here we go. What is this? Oh, it's just like a, I don't know, a cabinet? It's a urinal. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe. It's possible. The whole thing's a urinal. <laughs> it's one giant urinal. Welcome aboard your station, Captain. Oh, what is this? No, I mean, I'll take the door opening. That's cool, but I'm looking for, like, what this thing is. Okay, so it needs work.
can't believe they've gotten three hundred million dollars. <laughs> Why? Isn't that what a AAA game costs? I mean, generally. I mean, a finished one. How much did WoW tell <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> Not my favorite one. No, Wrath of the Lich King was my favorite one. Yeah, yeah, that's that one. That one's gonna hit me right in the feels when it comes out, man. Although you know, I I still have not gotten to level sixty. Classic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Just... But all you have to do is pick a Death Knight and Wrath of the Lich King, and you can just bypass a lot of stuff. That's true. Go straight to fifty-five. Plus, in Wrath of the Lich King, they made levels 1 through uh, 70 easier to get, I believe. Yep. And see, I think that's when, you know, I'm, I remember that, and I forgot how long it took to level up in regular vanilla. Yeah. That's also but when I, they changed the specialties. and. Yeah. That's when they introduced the casual raids, the pickup raids. Yeah. But... You know, I would just really like to be able to do, like, show low and stuff, just because. Yeah, but you got to get a group of five for that. I know. In Wrath of the Lich King, you just need a, a Death Knight and a healer, and you can run... Like, a decked-out Death Knight and a healer can run almost every classic raid, like two-man. Yeah. There's very few encounters they can't do. It would have been nice to actually experience, like, Molten Core... With a sixty-man raid. I don't. Well, or forty-man raid. Yeah, think. forty. I've been there, done that. It's not as fun as you think. It's a lot of sitting around talking, waiting for everybody to yeah. be ready. It's a lot of you know arguing over who gets the one good piece of gear that drops after working for it for a month. Right. It's it's a lot of nonsense. But, I mean, there was those, like, I mean, Zug Zug, man, they... I was in Zug Zug. Oh, I know. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, we ran we ran Molten Core and, and some of Blackwing Lair, but it was just... Ugh. It was, those aren't... Like, it was cool to see the encounter, but dominating my memories are, like, sitting around, like... Ugh. Just spending hours sitting there jumping around and bullshitting. Yeah. And and not like happy casual, like talking, but like just like, like people like people frustrated. Yeah, that they didn't. If you know, it's not their turn for the gear, or somebody's not ready, and they're a really important role we can't go without. And yeah, because once, because that's the thing is once people once it's like well we can't do this without this guy as the tank. Like, he's the only one geared up enough. Then it's like the rich get richer, right? Because then they keep wanting to give the gear to that one tank. Right. Because he's cool. already super strong, because now he can tank any encounter in there, which aids in progression. But then... Yeah, all the other warriors are like, well, what the fuck, man? Yeah, but then that guy turns into a diva, right? Because then that tank is like, oh, hold on, y'all y'all wait, I got something to do. And then, like, steps away for 15 minutes, and he's like, what, you guys can't go without me. Yeah, no, I I get it. I mean, I, I never had to experience that because what by the time I had the stuff to raid or, you know, I focused mostly on PvP and that was much better once vanilla once we were out of vanilla. Well, they started introducing the um, Zulgarub, the, the ten man raids, mm -hmm. where they're more manageable for the smaller guilds. Man, I still remember when that that Zulgarub one was fun when that happened when it first came out and those people would bring back the disease and it like wiped out the entire server yeah CDC the CDC did a study on that, that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. about like viral tra or you know transmission of disease yeah cuz it was a it's a an affliction you get from one of the bosses where you you die after like 15 seconds but then you spawn two snakes that can go and bite people and give them the disease and didn't somebody... Yeah, because somebody took it back to, like, Orgrimmar, and then all the other people were like, oh, shit, I gotta get out of here. They'd fly out. Yeah, yeah, it was it was bad. Well, people... What happened was they, they portaled back. Yeah. And then, you know, other people caught it, and... Yeah. 
I mean, it wasn't 15 seconds. It was something longer, but there it was like was, 10 minutes or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it was some kind of debuff that you got from the boss that like was supposed to put a time limit on the fighting of the boss. So it's like, oh, you can't drag the fight out for more than 10 minutes because then this debuff will wipe your group. And yeah. they and they killed the the boss, but it didn't clear the it, debuff. It didn't clear the debuff, and it was it was normally it does, but for whatever reason it didn't, you know. And then they just they, most people were like, oh back. shit, I gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they thought if they left the instance, it would clear the debuff. Yeah. And instead, they just wiped half the server. So there was that, and then my other favorite incident was that uh, that funeral raid. <laughs> that that one. Uh, that one group did. That'll that'll definitely go down in infamy. Oh, dude, yeah. Especially because you know you look back on it now, and that was that you know their guildmates giving the person a real like going away because they died. Yeah. And then that one guild just rolls in, starts fucking them up. I think that was on Illidan. Uh, yeah, I think so. And then we played on Garona, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then now, I forgot the server I'm on now, but all the old servers are gone. They're all renamed different stuff now. Sure. I, I have think a... I'm in West Westbourne. I have a guy I work with. He actually plays the current World of Warcraft. I thought about that, too, because it's part of the subscription, you know? So, I mean, I pay for the subscription, and I get it's... both. Yeah, it's the Shadowlands is the expansion. Dude, that would be overwhelming, to say the least. Starting... I I thought so. I kind of thought that when I when I, because I put it down after Wrath of the Lich King, and then I picked it back up with the Mists of Pandaria, and there had been the entire Cataclysm expansion between those two, and I thought I was going to be like just out to lunch, overwhelmed, but you adapt quick. You know, once you get I mean, into the... it. Start the classic it. stuff I, re I remember quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but that's just it. Uh, this flight, oh, um, uh, this flight is well, it's fifty thousand or fifty million kilometers. It's it's a long flight, but we're we're almost there. Um, but yeah, no, I, that's the thing is I don't want to play the new stuff though. What I realized playing the Mists of Pandaria. Is that it? It was fun. It was fun and all, but it wasn't what I remembered. No, and that's why classic is not what I wanted it to be because you guys aren't there. That's the you know that was the whole right. You know, it's not me, you, Josh, and you know Fessler and uh, right all those guys playing anymore you know and it, it while it's still fun just to run around and do stuff um like even just questing i have a good time but um you know part of it was doing those like five man raids and stuff with you guys or doing pvp with you guys that was the it wasn't the game itself Ugh. it was a part of it but All right. But you know, it was mostly the. Uh, well, it's like this. I don't like playing this by myself. All right, we're going to Port Olasar, buddy. We gotta repair and refuel and figure out what's going on with our engine. All right. I think when I bounced it off the ground into the trees, it was like no good. It broke it. Probably. But if there's a troublemaker here, man, they're gonna light us up. Like, immediately, without question, they're going to open fire. Because, oh, there's quite a few targets showing up here. Because they don't know, well, they don't know if we have goods on us or not. They just know we're a big mining ship. So in their mind, if they blow us up, they've, like, ruined our payday or whatever. Because they don't know that we're empty. Yeah, but once we're inside the armistice zone, we're good. Nah, I mean, they can still shoot at you from outside of it. Yeah, but then they get marked. Yeah. Oh, sure. But, I mean, if they blow us up before we touch down and, and we get landing confirmed, we're going back to uh, New Babbage. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then it's another 10-minute flight. Not counting the tram ride. 
<laughs> the 15 minutes it takes just to get to the spaceport. Is it a little easier to handle? In, in like microgravity, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's way easier to handle. We're just stopping here, right? We're not. I yeah, don't, no, I no, 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 no. We're not getting out. We're just going to repair and then be on our way. Man, this all looks sketchy with it from the mining pod, dude, because everything's like. <laughs> okay, well, this thing isn't going to. Uh, landing gear down. Landing gear down. Launch completed. Landing, landing fleet complete. Is it letting us? Our landing gear did not deploy properly. <laughs> yeah, this is. <coughs> this I is think gonna be a little warning, learning might... curve fly this thing. Maybe I have to get out of this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might have to stow that thing. Alright, let me... Uh, let me... It's not... Yeah, it's, it doesn't want to deploy the landing gear. Alright, I'm shutting it down. Please repair my stuff. Okay, good. It's going to let me repair. As long as it lets us repair, man. That's And refuel and everything. That's really all we care about. Did you undock the mining laser? No, you're you're drag, right. you're still dragging on the deck. <laughs> well, I mean, I powered it off. I don't I don't know what else I can do. Yeah, it didn't it didn't repair us. Um, oh, it didn't. Hold on, let me let me get out of this. You seat. powered it off. Um, yeah, I mean the power's off. I don't I don't know what else I can do. Right, okay, 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 okay. All right. <clears throat> oh, you have to exit it. Yeah, I just did. All right, so now we know. Our that. landing gear is is busted. It's not coming down. I tried now. I'm I'm still. No, it didn't. It still didn't come down. <laughs> but it's fine because it's still letting me order services. Just repair. Let's just wait a second. Not repairing us, is it? Uh oh 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 it's trying. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it repaired us. Oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> I keep I keep forgetting that I there's a little delay in what I see on your screen. Yeah. On what's actually right. going on. Okay. Alright, we're we're taking off, guys. We're getting out of here. You want to the I'm gonna grab a water while we're figuring out where we're going. Yep, I got it set. We're going. Okay. Our landing gear is still all jammed up. It doesn't want to... It doesn't want to behave properly. You know what, though? I'm tempted to, uh... You know what? Let's... Let's land. We're here. I'd like to stow it into storage. Now that it's repaired. And then take it back out. Yeah, because our, our landing gear is, like, dorked up. It, it, it wouldn't even auto land earlier. Landing complete. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Systems off. It's fighting with us. Oh man. All right.
Do it. And that's where we're gonna wrap things up for this yeah, time. Let's, yeah, we can Until do that. next time. Alright, let me take care. Find